What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here back at Waterford Golf Club. This is my home course here in uh, South Carolina. Um, trying to do something different today. I'm by myself. It is freezing cold. I, feel, I believe it's like 43 degrees. Uh, I'm playing from the front tees today. <clears throat> I'm out here. I'm going to play 18 holes from the front tees. As of right now, I am a 10.2 handicap. So. If you're anywhere around that handicap, maybe this will give you an idea on what you can shoot from the front. Hole one, 268. I got three wood. I have not warmed up. This is first swing of the day. Uh, I'm also doing something different. I'm playing a yellow ball, which uh, because of the overcast, I will, we'll see if it's easier to see on the tracer. Let's get into it, huh? tight this morning. Hit that three wood about 245 so I'm well short of the green. Just still trying to get warmed up. It's very wet. We got about uh, I think we got about almost an inch of rain last night so pretty wet out here. I'm just gonna try to land this short of the pin. happy with that. All right, I got a little uphill, uphill birdie putt. Pretty uphill. All right, I just want to say a uh, huge shout out to everyone watching the videos. I appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me. Like I said, this is not something I would have normally ever done, but I just, uh, I figured why not? You know, this is, uh, I'm a 10 handicap golfer, so I'm nothing great, nothing special. I make a bunch of bogeys and doubles, but I make a few birdies. And my goal from playing the front tees is if I can shoot even par, my goal's one under, but if I can shoot even par, I'll be very happy. Hole two, 405. Just gonna try to punch a, punch a drive down there. Play to the right of these trees. Oh. All right. All right, that was a terrible drive. I'm uh, like probably 260 out still. Can't really go up the green, it's all the way around the corner. I'm just gonna lay up with a, a five iron. A little thin, not gonna kill me. I got this left, I got 96 yards into the wind. Alright, this hole is probably the, the biggest advantage hole. It's a par 4, it's only 233. Alright, 233, a little bit downwind. I got a 3 iron. I'm just going to try to play right at it. I mean, this is almost, it looks like it's just a super long par 3. Oh. Oh. All right, 
that. That was close. You got this to get up and down. It actually landed here, so I mean, it was close. To, you know, it's on the right line. Just to get up and down. So Alright, I got this left over. Should slide a little bit to the right. Let's go. Alright, hole four here. 265 yards. I have two iron. It's a little bit downhill. Um, the only trouble here is the trees on the right. I'm going to try to play a fade. It's not something I'm known for hitting. I'm going to give it a shot. Alright, just left of the pin. I was pin high. It kicked down off this slope and I'm in the bunker. So I have a bunker shot to get up and down. Pretty simple bunker shot. After a poor bunker shot here, I'm still not even on the ground. <laughs> so I got this spot up the hill for birdie. I just hammered it. Absolutely hammered it. Alright, so I won't be announcing the uh, scores, they're just going to be up here in the top corner um, because I had to skip hole two and three because there's two foursomes and I didn't want to hold anybody up or even try to play through, so I skipped over to four. Alright, hole five here, 94 yards, little par three, I'm just going to try to play like a punch 50 degree and get it to land short and maybe take a hop out. Hold it a little bit. People, prepare your ball marks. We got this for birdie. That would uh, bring me to one under right now, which I need that. Oh, I hammered that. Back and drop it, so can't be too bad about it. Hole six, 280. It's playing uphill, but it's a little downwind. I'm gonna hit two iron. I'd rather be short than long. Yeah, it wasn't struck very well, but all right. Pretty poor strike. I got 60 yards left. It was only went 220. Uh, up the hill. Pins in the back. Let's go. I think it's close. We have a divot. All right, nice little shot there. I got this for birdie. Let's go. We get the, uh, we get the score to one on.
All right, hole seven, 299. A little helping win. I'm gonna hit two iron again. I think this is just the club that's gonna put me in play. Gonna play a little fade. Yeah, not bad. Center of the fairway. Little wedge in. 62 yards to the pin. I'm just gonna try to flight a 54 in there, nice and low. Well, you saw it. I don't need to explain it, right? That was a cold, hard shake. All right, let's, we got to get this up and down for par now. Unfortunate. All right, that was an unfortunate chip shot. Well short. The crane is running down and away. We got this puck with Paul. Oh, what a roll. Let me know what you guys think about trying to play from the front tees. Uh, I will say, for me, it doesn't change my game a whole lot. I feel like the higher handicaps, like myself, we we struggle with around the greens, which when you're playing that far up, like a lot of shots, I'm 50, 60 yards. Not really, I mean, it, I've had days where my, my touch is nice, but they're tough shots. Like you have to have a lot of touch. Um, and finesse and like know where to land the ball what how much spin on it so I will say it doesn't change my game it changed my it changes my mentality a little bit like for these par threes like obviously I'm attacking the pin a lot more than playing the safe shot to the center of the green um, but yeah let me know what you think uh, like subscribe and let's go try to shoot on the par hole eight par three 95 yards water left bunkers right and the green, the green slopes towards the water. So you want to leave this out a little bit to the right. Gotta go. Gotta go hard. I needed to play that a lot lower, but I still got a maybe six foot birdie putt. All right, not a bad shot coming in. I got a little uphill putt, slides, uh, Slides right to left. Alright. Cut up the slope. Breaking left. Oh, just short. All right, that was unfortunate to miss that birdie putt. Uh, walked away with par, leaves us back at even par. I got a par five nine, so I haven't walked in a while, so whew, you boys winded out here. I gotta get back in shape. Yep, we'll see if we can get a, uh, a birdie, hopefully, but an eagle would be outstanding. Hole nine, driver in hand. Par five, like 405. We're gonna give it a pretty big rip here. Yeah, that's it, uh, that's it pretty good. 183 to the pin, side hill lie. Well, it should fall left. Just make good contact with it. Try to play a little draw in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Tony. Let's go. We got an eagle look. All right, long, long eagle putt up and over a ridge. That was a pretty poor putt. All right. I got this. Clean up the bird. All right. Back to one under. Par four, 297 from the front tee. I'm going to go two iron and see if I can get it up and over the trees. I just have to avoid that big tree in the middle. A little stinger through. It's actually going to be really good. <laughs> oh, I miss it then. All right, 49 yards out of the rough. Not a great lie. I'm just going to try to play this up in my stance a little bit. Pop it up out, get it going. Go. All right, that was a poor shot. Missing the green from 49 yards is, uh, can't do that and expect to shoot well. All right, I got a little 58 degree. We're just gonna try to get this up on the green. Dunk. Oof. All right, ran out a little bit. All right, I got this putt for par. All right, hole 11, 112 to the pin. I'm gonna hit a knockdown pitching wedge. See if I can get it on the green. Roll it. Go. He's just short. All right. All right, about seven feet short. Birdie putt up the slope, up the hill. I broke that way at the end. That's crazy. I hit the line I wanted. Hole 12. It says on the scorecard that it's 315. There's a little creek. About 270. I'm gonna rip this driver. A little fade. Cover. Cover. Short. Had it way off the toe. All right. All right. Second shot. That drive went about. Uh, 245 yards, so pretty, pretty sweet drive there. It's super wet. I'm actually just trying to play this to the fat part of the green. I... Alright, should be uh, maybe 15-20 uh, feet. I was scared of it. I was scared of it in and all the way down at the off the green. All right, far clean up. A right, little mid round update. I don't feel like I'm playing great. I feel like I'm not striking the ball great, but 
with playing up this far, I can afford to miss it and still have wedges into the green. So like this hole right here, I don't really have a huge advantage because the hole is so far to the left, I have to just lay up with an iron to the fairway. So it doesn't change my game much on this hole. All right, hole 13, 332 to the pin. It's a severe dog leg left. There's no shot at the green from here. I'm just gonna hit a four iron and uh, punch it out to the fairway. Yeah. All right, second shot here, about 125 yards uphill, playing about maybe 135. I'm gonna hit a knockdown nine. that every day. Every day. Tap in par on this hole's good. All right. Hole 14 here. Uh, par 5, four, 405 on the scorecard. Um, I've never played from up here, so you have to take it on, take this corner on pretty aggressive. Right. All right. Second shot into this par five. One sixty-one. Downhill. Back into the room. I got a seven iron. That was a good one. That's an unfortunate par there on the par five and the par three. Um, I'm gonna have to make a few birdies coming in if I wanna have a shot at my goal. And my goal is one under, but I gotta make something happen. I believe right now on the back, I'm sitting at one over par. Um, yeah, we got a par five coming up. So if I can capitalize there, make a birdie, we have a pretty gettable par four after that. Um, and then, yeah, I just gotta make something happen coming in. But I'm having fun out here. It does change my mindset quite a bit on the approach to the game because I'm not as worried. I'm hitting in different parts. And uh, if you guys have seen, I hit a lot of two irons off the tees, even when I'm playing for, from the tips or even um, like the blue tees out here, I hit a lot of two irons off the tee. Um, and that's just because my driver, I really don't hit it that far. 
and I'm not fitted for it, so I don't really, I don't hit it that far, but yeah, the two iron just, it's a safe play usually. All right, about to go through this tunnel. Chipper golf, going dark. Hole 16, par five, 438. I'm gonna try to give, uh, give this a good rip. Try to maybe get home in two. That's about as good as I can hit a, hit a golf ball. Yeah, I have 180, 181, 186, uh, back into the wind. Probably played about 190, maybe even closer to 195. I have 5-iron. If you hit it fast, All right, chunk that 5-iron. Pins all the way up front, so I want to fly at least to the pin. Cover. Ah, just on the fringe. I hit 58 back there. Poor shot. I got this for birdie. Should fall left the whole way. I'll stay on. Three forty-five, something like that. I got two iron. I'm gonna try to play a half to play a slice here. There's no no other option. I'm gonna try to play a little. Keep turning. Keep turning. All right. All right. Decent two iron there. Up the uh, left side of the fairway. 125 in. A little bit downwind. I got pitching wedge. I'm sitting, there's a hole here. I'm going to try to flight a pitching wedge in there. Go. Go. Well short. All right, I got this to get up and down for par. What a poor chip that was, huh? All right, that is a terrible bogey there. Um, you know, it's funny with this, I feel like I'm not playing very good golf, but double bogey hasn't been even in question today. Um, it's always been just, I had three tap in bogey, so. But, we gotta make something happen. All right, hole 18. Not played my best golf today. trouble here. I'm going to play out left. I got a 50 degree. I'm going to try to just chop down a little bit on it. Just try to pick it clean. Hit that tree. Oh. on the green. All right, long par putt.
All right, end of the round recap. Uh, just, it was a rough day out there. Honestly, I felt like I had so many good opportunities to, to score well. And then, you know, one bad shot. But I, uh, I will say the positive I'm gonna take away from this is I didn't have a single look at double bogey. So all my bogeys were tap-ins. Um, and you know, that feels good. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the front tees until I break par. And then once I break par, then I'll move back and play the senior tees until I break par. And then move back to the men's tees until I break par. And then eventually get to the tips where if I break par from the tips, I don't know, that'd be crazy, but that's the, uh, that's the game plan for these, uh, these solo mornings. Uh, it's nice and cold this morning, but we'll see you tomorrow.